Now tonight, we are here, and some of you may say, well, how come big lights come so early and so quick? That's not new. But tonight, we have some things to deal with, some special things to talk about. And as I said to me, to some people on my, my Facebook Live, a lot of people come back with me. Because you know me, I'm going to talk the things them, I'm going to call names, I'm going to call situations. I don't care. I don't give a damn. But when I come here to speak, I come to highlight the issues of the day. Well, some people have me as a joke. But it's one thing I know you guys can't say. A lot of things that I say here on my show is prophetic, is futuristic, and it comes to pass. You all don't give me the credit for that. But I come and talk the things there before anybody could talk the things them. And you all know that 99% of the times I am correct. Like a guy to tell me, big guy is always right. Not sometimes, always right. But I have some issues. And I want to talk it before I go. Last week, after my life, I got some complaints. Some people say they can't see me and they can't do this. But these complaints have been coming for a while. I remember when I went to Miami, Scotty met me and said, How oh, you block me? I said, Scotty, I can't block you. I don't even know how to block. I am not that savvy on the phone. And I realize it's ever since I started to say certain things and attack certain people and get sued and so forth, my Facebook page has been compromised. I am losing followers without me blocking them. People not seeing me without me blocking them. I experience writing a post and depending on what the contents of the post is Facebook is not going to post it immediately I have had instances where I post something they post it immediately then they take it down so it means then that I am being I don't want to say sanctioned but somebody probably report my page and I believe it has to do with Congress Mayor Dad from number three and the suit. And so they're after me. And so they're trying to slow me down. Because I can't see how all of a sudden people can't see me, people can't find me. And it's something for me to take seriously. Because it is almost, I don't want to say becoming frightening, but it is almost becoming scary. A lot of people are calling me and I want me and say, Lord, big lies, I am praying for you. I am hoping that all is well and so forth. And I, I appreciate that. But hey, what is to be must be? Oh, you know. And somebody say, I know you say you're not afraid of nobody, but I still don't afraid of nobody. If I have something to do and I am led by the Spirit, I am going to do it. So, who won't come, come? But I am finding it funny that my Facebook and yesterday is what took the cake. When my wife came home and said, Big guys, today is International Men's Day. I don't think on them thing there. But she said she wrote a post about me and my son and so forth as the men in her life and so forth. And she realized she posted it and it never appeared on Facebook. Never appeared on Facebook. So somebody who have any link to Facebook, tell them, leave me alone. Anybody who report me, they tell them lies. All I come here to talk is truth. So they're trying to slow me down. Now somebody tell me today, but remember the man from number three is in charge of IT. And it made me think. I say, oh, so maybe they have links. No, I'm a yes to for this again because all I'm saying, in charge of IT, maybe they have links. I don't care. It is... 
starting to I have me starting to question what's going on. But let me give you a last story. Today, I was listening to the round table by our Prime Minister. And I had my phone listening. And then, I, the, the, the thing finish. I now get my phone to go and use my WhatsApp. Now what's up on my phone? Now, I, these things may be possible, so my God help me. WhatsApp was deleted from my phone today. I did not say, yes, I want to delete. I did not have a thing to do with it. I called my friend, he came, he looked, he said, but I know what's up in here. He said, he never said nothing like that. What's up was deleted. I had to reinstall what's up. But here's the funny thing about it. I have, got, I have lost data, information, up to July. So, gotta be somebody who knows that I have information because I have a lot of information on WhatsApp. But I've now lost some information. I've now lost some information. And it makes me now start to, it makes me now start, not makes, it makes me now start, now let me do my English properly. It makes me now start to wonder. I say, boy, because. You gotta be careful. People have been telling me that, but I could be careful as much as I want. But nobody gonna stop me from banging my mouth. And tonight, I'm gonna bang my mouth. Because a lot of things are there to speak about. Some people say it's scammers, but these scammers sometimes are working for people. Some scammers are working for people. Now Gary Thomas is a big clown show. I wonder what I mean by that. Gary Thomas now I'm start to talk about Gary Thomas, you know. I hope he not try to come disrespect my show. Because Gary Thomas now I'm me talk about Gary Thomas. So I hope that they are uh, typo or uh, he just making joke. Because me, me know Gary Thomas very well. So me gonna watch and see what I'm going on. Right now, me not take no prisoners. Me, me and me and war mode. Me right now and war mode. Now, in my introduction, I want to talk about step. Plenty of people are complaining about step. My question is, what are they doing with the program? And I believe that they need to let people know. They need to let people know what they're doing with this step. A couple of callers call me this afternoon. They're waiting for transfer from this place to that place. And so, I want to know what is happening? Because the people are calling me. So let us know what's going on with STEP. It is our government. And we ought to know what the plans are for STEP. Why we have people waiting so long to be transferred or to move to a different situation. So I am asking it loud and clear. And maybe somebody from STEP could call me and say X, Y, Z. Water woes continue. My friend Simon Taylor's, how you doing, my friend Simon Taylor's? Simon, I'm sorry I put your name in my song, you know. Sorry I put your name in my song, but because you're crying out. Water issues, Shadwell water issues, village water issues, Sandy Point water issues, and so much rain falling. So I am looking to see what's going on. We were acting through. National Bank. 
What's going on in the National Bank? Somebody tell me, please. Because I don't understand. National Bank made a decision not to sponsor National Carnival this year. Now, I don't know if I hear things. So you want to tell me that Cosman, Mr. Lake, Call body this year, all of them sit down and all of a sudden, in 2024, decide we not sponsoring National Carnival. When National Bank and National Carnival is synonymous, synonymous they go together. National Bank has always been a sponsor. The Carnival Committee need the money. So why would Cosman and them hold on to the money? Why are they taking trips daily and weekly? Why are they charging us extra to keep an account? Why are they paying for our loans a lot of money on board for a billion? All of them in co. All of them in co. Listen to me, let me tell you something. I have lost. I lost. A lot of respect for a lot of people around here who put on high heels, who put on jacket and tie, the nasty, the wicked, the thief. A lot of people, you know, white collar crime. White collar crime. I have the evidence right here. I have the evidence right here. All the agents. And we're going to talk about that later because that's what I come talk about, the CBI. And all the people you see walking around and have nice fancy cars and dress up and so forth. I don't want to call them wolves in sheep clothing. But they're nasty and they're thief. And they have the poor people living in some conditions that you can't believe. And everybody waiting for their turn. Everybody waiting for the turn to get the money, to get their hands on the money. And that's why I tell you all last week, I am putting up my name as a candidate because I want to change that. And a lot of you don't believe me, and a lot of you just say a lot of things, and you've been saying it. But what? I know what I'm about. It's just this week, and I'm going back to National Bank, you know. But I'm going off tonight on a tangent. It's just this week, I went in the village. By a nice young lady place. Living in some horrible conditions. And all kind of people that went to Congress Maynard. All kind of people that went to NHC. All kind of people that went to everybody for help. And none of them think that this lady deserved their help. But they selling her passport. They doing all kind of things, making money, millions. Well, we're suffering. But we got to be the biggest set of donkeys in the Caribbean. Saying his people, we got to be the biggest set of donkeys in the Caribbean for people to be using our patrimony to sell passports, getting our money. And we have people here living like dogs, sad to say it, living in some horrible conditions. You see this one infamous just say? Cry from the ghetto? It is real. It is real. But National Bank, I want to know if the shareholders and the government alike. What they have to say about such a decision. What they have to say about that decision that National Bank has taken away their contribution. Taking it away from Carnival. Man, it's our bank. It's the People's Bank. National Bank and Development Bank should always 
contribute to carnival. And when I hear these things, I want to know. And somebody asks, what is happening to my country? I want to know what is happening. How did we get to this point? That people become so selfish and so entitled. Because man got houses on every street in Bastia. Because man have houses on every street in Bastia. Cosma was a part of the SIDF and the CBI board. So he must be in the mix with all the monies that we can't find. He may be in the mix. But here it is. He gets an institution to run. And they don't, they're taking money from the carnival for the poor man to come in town and enjoy. We are moving backwards. Can't you? Don't kill. We're moving backwards instead of forward. Some of these people went off and went off to university and they come back and they believe that they're better than everybody else and they're making some stupid, stupid decisions. Let me tell you something. I ain't got the way to make them decisions here now. And I think the people are going to start to have to wise up. The people, we're going to start to have to wise up. Not only holding them accountable, but we might have to flex some muscles. Because they can't continue to do what they want to do. What they feel is right. And not doing what is right. The only people who got a right is the people in cabinet because we vote for them and we give them a right to make decisions on our behalf. But people who are in these statutory bodies and companies and so forth, they must abide by us. Mr. Samuel Loggins, Minister of Agriculture, I have a message for you. Some people don't imagine area, some farmers. They say because of the Rain, the torrential rains that we had. A lot of the roads leading up to their farms are in bad conditions. So they asked me to reach out to you, Mr. Duggins, and ask you, as being the man who loves farming and say you love the farmers, to please send bulldozers and whatever you're going to take to fix the roads so they can get to the farms because they said if the roads are severely damaged the farmers are crying because what happened they need the road fixed because this is November going into Christmas and so they want to be able to take their pigs to the slaughter so that we can get our pork for Christmas so the people can get their pork for Christmas so Mr. Samuel Duggins please I beg you Pay some attention to this place. Urgently. He may be able to collaborate with public works. Let us get the roads fixed. And not in Manchester alone. I should have roads all over. Where farmers need to get to their crops and their, their stocks. Livestock. And so please, I'm asking you, look out for them. Now, I sing a song. I come in down, I come in down, I wind it down. I sing a song. Things are not going well. I tell you something, yeah? When I reached out to my brother and we started to deal with that song here. Why? When I see the product. Without the music. I said, boy, you know, this touch every aspect of what's going on and even more. And when the music came to it, the creation was a gem. One of the better songs I would have produced. And it speaks to what's happening and what needs to be fixed. And tonight, we're going to talk on a particular issue of the CBI. 
because that to me is important. A lot of things are going on, a lot of talks are going on. Are we going to talk? We going to talk. See that? What's your meeting gone off again? Bye. I really got me how I want me why. You really got me how they want me why. Facebook got me how they want me. Things are gone off. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. That they make a machine they gone off. Anyway. It is what it is. Mark out one last message. Dr. Joe. Dr. Joe, let me tell you something, yeah? You're my friend. But I think you need to re-employ me. And got me to deal with you. Day to day runnings and what is going on. You need somebody, Dr. Joe. To look out for Dr. Joe as the Prime Minister. You have too much quacks and invalid. Something is wrong. Trust me, I'm telling you as a friend. I not tell nobody to tell you now. I tell you as a friend, you need to look closely as what is happening. <laughs> Yeah, we're back. We're back. And I want to deal with something because my bicycle class I do keep it. And I don't like to educate people. I want to go back to something I said. And I said it before and I want to say it again. In politics, when you vote for a government... The people who take charge would be the elected members who support an individual to be prime minister and they have majority of the seats. So in this case, Labour won six seats. They all indicated that they support Dr. Drew as the prime minister and they went to the governor general and they were sworn in. He became, became the prime minister. They were the ministers. In our system of government, the Westminster system, the white hall model that was exploded, uh, exported and so forth. And there is something I need to speak to before I start to bang them out. And I hope you all pay attention. There's a, a, a doctrine known as the collective responsibility collective responsibility the doctrine of collective responsibility means that all members of the cabinet including the prime minister and all his ministers are collectively responsible to parliament for the policies and decisions of the government and share equally in the consequences that result even though a minister or ministers might not have been personally or directly responsible so long as a minister does not resign he is expected to support and defend those policies and decisions. And he cannot publicly criticize or disassociate, which means disassociate himself from government policies. Very important. Today, this doctrine applies to the significant government policies and, with permission, some ministers are permitted to speak critically on some issues. And I say that because of the times that we have here in this country. 
And I ain't come here to defend nobody. But all you know me, and I've said it before. I'm a Jew man, but if Jew wrong, I'm going to call him out and say he's wrong. But I don't believe when it comes to running a country or government. That we could move away from that doctrine and use it when it's convenient to us and use it when it's not so convenient. The CBI. I could come here tonight and say, I tell you also, because I've been coming here months and weeks and weeks and months telling you about the CBI, telling you what I recognize, what I don't like, and so forth. But the CBI has taken a turn. If I can remind you, when the government changed, there were a lot going on in the CBI. When the government changed, there was a project that was at the height of the campaign. Before the government changed, there was a jail project that was approved by a cabinet and a prime minister then. And so, between 2022, 2021, 2020 and going forward, the CBI was burning up. But why was the CBI burning up? I ain't even coming to right now. I'm going back. Why was the CBI burning up? And I have me information here. Mm -hmm. 2019, 443 million was made as revenue. This is government revenue, eh? This have nothing to do with the money that we can find. This is just government revenue into the consolidated fund, into the coffers. 2019, 443 million. 2020, COVID, 271. 2021, 543 million. 2022, 669 million. So I'm saying between that time before the election, the CBI was burning up. The CBI was hot. Hmm. 2023. And I want you all to note 2022 and 2023. 669 million in 2022. 620 million in 2023. Think about it and the jail project. The CBI was hot. People recognize that boy, we could make some serious money out of the CBI. And so people start to sell passport. Left, right, and center. See, you all got to understand our history you now. Galaxy was in their glory. Galaxy. And I want you all to play note Galaxy is a Chinese company. But I just said that I gotta be careful here because I went in a Chinese store the other day <laughs> and I was so shocked. 
I was so shocked when the lady shout out, Big lies, big lies! A Chinese? Is then I realize the Chinese paying attention too. So I say, how oh, you know me? She say, you on Facebook, you know everything, everything me talk on Facebook. I say, wow. So last week, when I was talking about the Chinese, the Chinese hear me. So you come here, I gotta be careful. But Galaxy, a Chinese company was flourishing and spreading their wings between 2029 and 2022. Let me tell you something about Galaxy. And now I know Galaxy, you know. Galaxy is owned by these Chinese and the lady who will be around parade itself. Denzel Douglas, good friend. I ain't say girlfriend. I said Denzel Douglas, good friend. Is in charge of Galaxy. You with me? Denzel Douglas, good friend. Has a relationship with the lady in charge of Galaxy. Tell her I do not. I'm in a job now. And Galaxy was led. Or, I won't say lead, but they work in tandem with Lescan. Lescan and the lady and the relationship. Many times when you were married, a gamble, they write their gamble next to me. So, me now. And these people set out. So I like to say so. But these people set out to rip off this federation. No, no, I want to say so. But Galaxy and Lescan and the accomplices set out to rip off the federation because they realized we were gullible. You understand what I'm saying? But the same people never tell you is Denzel Douglas' friend. Oh, I better follow me tonight. Me no want a girlfriend. But Denzel Douglas and the lady for China has a very special relationship. So, the question I want to ask you as we follow the, the time frame, 2019-2022, when Galaxy them decide they're going to match us up. When the Prime Minister then was Timothy Harris. You must ask yourself a question. Timothy Harris, who defected from Labour, was not loved by Douglas. You remember? A hog the bee? A hog the bee? And when it's about the corn under a tree, and they don't care about nobody, and all them things there, all them rhetoric, Denzel Douglas and Timothy Harris appeared to hate each other's guts. They have people in Zegis right now not talking to each other because of Denzel Harris, Denzel Douglas Harris, and Timothy Harris. Bitter enemies as far as I am concerned. The impression they gave us that they were bitter enemies. 
The question I want to ask then, if Timothy Harris and Denzel Douglas were so much rivals, well, how come during 2019 and 2022 Galaxy was so instrumental? He shouldn't want to have anything to do with a company that was associated with Denzel Lovelace. Timothy Harris should not want to have anything to do with Lescan, who came over from the late Labour Party. Lescan was came over, you know. He came over to the new administration. So if you so bitter enemy, how come it's so convenient for you to have relationships with these people? Hmm. When the jail project came up, There's a company by the name of CS Global. CS Global got their contract on the Timothy Harris, you know? CS Global, the same CS Global that Martinez spoke about, that is owned by lawyer Anthony and Verdi got their contract on the Timothy Harris. How is that possible? How is that possible? That Timothy Harris, who hated Denzel Lovelace so much, could extend a contract to CS Global? That is owned by Douglas Friend Anthony. But remember, Peter Verdi is Timothy Friend. And they created this company. But you all won't want to hear the millions. The millions that were paid to CS Global. And the funny thing about it, you know, I believe that CS Global still has a contract. Now, my thing is, if we, we revamp our CBI, and if we now have a statutory body as opposed to the government, is that contract still valid? And I want the people in charge to look into it. I want to know if that contract is still valid. It's millions of dollars. And let me tell you something. Peter Verdi ain't no, no little man, you know. So I pray for me. Yeah? Pray for me. But I want to show you that Galaxy, Denzel had a relationship. CS Global, Denzel had a relationship. And these things were under Timothy Harris. Let me move on. It is alleged that some companies and some individuals like For one lovers, like Capis and Bass, like Chris Freeman, 
I want to call him and call him too. All these people made a lot of money, millions of dollars from the jail project. These people made a lot of money from the jail project. The jail project was orchestrated again by Timothy Harris. All these names I just call are friends of Denzel Douglas. All these people are friends of Denzel Douglas. So all these things were happening under the team Unity Watch. Where they were being set up to make money because Galaxy was in charge. And for the then Prime Minister and whoever he had to make money, they had to appease Galaxy. They had to work with Galaxy because they want the money too. So you get your money, I give me money. This is how the CBI was running. You get your money, I give me money. So millions of dollars. I hear somebody got $500 million can't touch in America. I hear somebody got $500 million can't touch. I hear CS Global was paid well over $50 million. I hear one of these persons get 10 million, one get 5 million, one get 2 million. Are we money? Our patrimony, our passport money. And see how they're up there playing with it while we down there. And, and, and Martinez right in that sense that here it is, they give you $500 and get $1,000 and make you feel comfortable. When billions of dollars were they available for us. Billions of dollars were there available for us. So, between 2019 and 2022, billions of dollars were made. By 2023. And so, if we get this a drop in the bucket, where the rest money gone? Martinez said he tell them where the money be, but nobody went for it. I don't know the reason. I don't, I don't know. I would have to investigate that part. But all I'm trying to show you guys tonight in my opening arguments here is that you cannot investigate our CBI program and when the money gone without Denzel Douglas without Timothy Harris and of course the present Prime Minister would have to say something because he's the present Prime Minister these three people must be able to answer our questions. I remember for years we were asking about this money and I could understand why we weren't getting any answers. CS Global, Jail Project, Galaxy. And you know the funny thing about it? And Martin spoke about it too. The Timothy Harris government gave the Chinese permission to have a due diligence company of their own. And you see what they say? 
is some deputy out of the galaxy set up the Jesus company. That can't be correct. You can't have a company within a company checking passports and checking for people of nefarious character. So all the money was piling up in one place. So Galaxy, Galaxy got with money, and then the agents, CS Global, and all them people got with money, and we should accept that. Should we accept that, just so? Now, I'm going to take a break, but I'm going to continue to break down to show you, and I'm going to bring you to the present. I'm going to bring you to the present situation now, and I want you to analyze for yourself, make up your mind for yourself about what's going on.